For the first time in history, a 3D printed cornea has restored sight to a blind patient. Meanwhile, the Finnish startup ICSI is developing what may permanently change the vision of millions of people, the world's first autofocus glasses. Scientists have discovered a way to slow down or even reverse human aging by influencing how cells produce energy. Chinese robots continue to evolve and expand into new fields, increasingly replacing humans in many industries. These and other high-tech news are featured in one video. Scientists have for the first time in history restored sight to a blind person by transplanting a cornea printed on a 3D printer. What only recently seemed like science fiction has become a real medical procedure. The new technology makes it possible to quickly print a cornea tailored to the individual parameters of the patient, without donors, without long waiting lists, and without complex operations. The printed tissue is fully compatible with the human eye, and after transplantation, begins to perform its function, transmitting and focusing light. The patient who was previously completely blind has regained the ability to see, and this is only the beginning. According to scientists, this technology may help millions of people around the world who have lost their vision due to injuries, infections, or genetic diseases. 3D printing is transforming ophthalmology from a donor-limited field into mass, accessible treatment. This is not just a medical breakthrough. It is a moment when technology literally gives a person their sight back. The Finnish startup ICSI is developing something that could permanently change the vision of millions of people. The world's first autofocus glasses. No bulky mechanisms, no strange design, and no heavy lenses. All the technology is hidden directly inside the frame. The glasses track eye movement and instantly adjust the focus of the lenses, adapting to where the person is looking, at a screen, the road, or an object up close. The most surprising thing is that they look and weigh like ordinary glasses. No external cameras, no visible electronics. Everything happens automatically and invisibly to the user. This could become a solution for people with age-related vision changes, farsightedness, and focusing problems without constantly changing glasses and without surgery. If the technology performs as claimed, optics will for the first time in decades stop being passive and become smart, adaptive, and responsive, essentially taking a step toward a future where glasses think together with your eyes. Scientists have reported a breakthrough in the treatment of age-related blindness, Patients with macular degeneration, one of the most common causes of vision loss in the world, regained the ability to see thanks to a combination of an implant and smart glasses. The technology works as follows. The implant replaces the lost, light-sensitive retinal cells that were destroyed by the disease, while special glasses amplify and correct the visual signal, helping the brain interpret it again. People who previously could barely see were once again able to read, navigate their surroundings, and perform everyday tasks. This is not about partial improvement. It is a real restoration of central vision. This is especially important because age-related macular degeneration was long considered irreversible. Now technology is effectively taking over the function of the damaged part of the eye. If development continues, such implants could change the lives of tens of millions of people for whom blindness was once a final verdict. Let's move on to other news from the world of high technology. The Chinese company Unitree continues to do what until recently seemed impossible. Their humanoid robot has entered a real sparring session. In front of you is Unitree H2, a humanoid almost 180 centimeters tall, created not for show, but for testing the limits of durability and control. During the test, the robot delivers strikes, maintains balance, and even performs a knee strike that literally lifts the other robot off the ground. Every movement is not a pre-programmed animation, but the result of actuators, sensors, and algorithms working in real time. This fight is not a demonstration of aggression, it is designed to test the reliability of the structure, stability, 
reaction, and safety of the robot under extreme conditions. Unitree emphasizes that such tests are carried out exclusively in a laboratory environment and are not intended to be replicated by people. But the fact remains, humanoid robots are already capable of withstanding physical contact, impacts, and loss of balance. Geely has introduced a futuristic development that could permanently change urban parking. In the EX5 crossover, engineers implemented the rotation of all four wheels at an angle of up to 90 degrees. What does this mean in practice? The car can move sideways, literally sliding into any available space. Turning around on a narrow street is no longer a problem. The vehicle can almost pivot in place without complex maneuvers. The technology solves one of the main problems of megacities, parking in limited spaces. Where minutes of stressful attempts were once required, now there is just one smooth movement. A fully robotized restaurant has begun operating in Beijing, and this is not a startup experiment, but a project by a major chain. At the Haidilao restaurant, service is handled by Panasonic robots, the machines take orders, prepare meat and vegetables, and then independently deliver the dishes throughout the hall. No waiters, no cooks, only algorithms, manipulators, and perfectly calibrated movements. The main goal of the project is to reduce staffing costs and sharply increase efficiency. Robots do not get tired, do not make mistakes in orders, and work at the same speed at any time of day. But the most important factor is scale. Heidi Lao is one of the largest restaurant chains in China, and this showcased restaurant is only the first step. The owners have announced plans to automate up to 5,000 locations. If the project proves successful, it could transform the entire food service industry. Restaurants would become faster, cheaper, and fully automated. China has reported a breakthrough in hypersonic weapons. The Beijing-based company Lingkong Tianxing Technology has released footage of tests of the new hypersonic missile YKJ-1000 showing a real flight and target strike at a desert range. But the key point is not even the speed. According to company representatives, the missile has already entered mass production, and its cost is 10 times lower than that of traditional missiles of the same class, almost minus 90% in production price. The specifications are impressive flight range from 500 to 1,300 kilometers, speed from 5 to 7 Mach, meaning several times faster than sound. Such a combination of hypersonic performance and low cost could change the rules of the game. If earlier this type of weapon was limited and extremely expensive, now it is becoming mass-produced and accessible. And this is precisely what may seriously affect the global balance of power. Scientists have reported a technology that may reverse cellular aging, without drugs, and without genetic modification. It sounds like science fiction, but it is based on a real biological mechanism, and at its core is cellular energy. As we age, cells produce less of it, causing tissues to weaken and the body to age. The new technology works differently. It teaches healthy cells to share their spare components with weaker ones. As a result, Damaged cells restore normal function, and tissues regain their performance, without chemical medications and without interference with DNA. In essence, this is a reboot of cellular cooperation embedded by nature itself, but lost with age. If the method proves effective in further trials, it could become a universal platform for anti-aging therapy and for age-related diseases, from muscle weakness to neurodegeneration. This is not a pill for immortality, but it may be the first step toward making aging no longer an irreversible process. Write in the comments what you liked the most after watching this video. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel so you don't miss the next episodes. Bye for now!